Will Bitcoin break past its all-time high this week of $42,000 or will it break down past its current low of $28,000? Let me know if you have a crystal ball because I sure as hell don't. But what we're going to look at is the probabilities of each direction happening and what it is that I would personally do depending on what the direction is. Thanks for returning to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Jason, your home of Hopium free cryptocurrency content. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you once again, guys. Be sure to hit that like button down below right here and the subscribe if you're new to the channel. Remember to hit that bell notification icon and all as well because it's the only way that you'll be able to see this time sensitive content. YouTube has a way of shadow banning cryptocurrency content at the worst possible times. So make sure you do that. All right, let's move on with the video. We're gonna have a look at Bitcoin today. Bitcoin, the one hour chart. This is definitely not the place we should be starting. Let's go back to a weekly chart. Let's look at the macro view because we're here for macro gains. And currently the weekly chart is of course, trending between the low and the high. What does that tell us? Pretty much nothing. We're in between ranges and we haven't got a breakout nor do we have a breakdown. What I'm looking at from here is the volume. We've seen pretty strong volume on the previous week to last week, so two weeks ago. Last week's volume was dropping off as we began to climb up. Now this isn't the first time that we've seen lowering volume on a rise on Bitcoin. Let's just take a quick step back in time to December and we were watching the market rise and rise and rise on higher volume, but we had a couple of days or a couple of weeks where it just turned around and had lowering volume until the breakout. So this wouldn't be the first time that we could see a breakout after some lowering volume, which is very confusing because you would think that we would be getting higher volume as we're beginning to break out, more people coming into the market. I'm reading this as more bullish than bearish. Reason being is we've had a higher close this week, 38,858, whereas the highest close so far, which was on the all time high week was only 38,173. So essentially about $700 difference. So we're beginning to see the first signs of strength. Higher closes are a great sign, even if the volume is lowering. Now I'm reading into the lowering volume just as it could be a slight pullback. I don't think it's anything significant. If we did get the breakdown from the 28, it's fantastic. I'm gonna load up a hell of a lot. Uh, especially on Ethereum and other altcoins. But of course, we're going to get some Bitcoin at those lower prices. Now, I do like the higher close, obviously, to keep an eye on the lowering volume. So let's drop it down to a three day chart and see where we're heading from here. We're almost at a double top. I would like to see it touch the double top or at least break past it a little bit and get us to confirm a double top. But because we haven't seen that just yet, I don't think we will see a full double top pattern play out. And generally what we look for in a double top is top to bottom. And we're measuring this range here that we just tagged. And now we're snapping it to the top of this point. And we're not sure whether this is the top just yet. We could be another bar higher than here, but this is the data we have. So that's the top. And we're looking for 200% of this range here. 200% brings us all the way down to 14 and a half thousand. Now that's probably why I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think we will see a full double top pattern play out. And from this point, we may just see a small retrace from here or slightly higher to retest the levels at around 32 to $36,000 unless we really get a massive breakdown from this point because we're seeing lowering volume again on the move up. Now on this last three day bar, we have another 24 hour period to go. So we're just three hours into this last 24 hour period. Volume still relatively low, but of course we've got that one day. Last three day bar was increasing volume and we had a higher close. So we had the second highest close uh, in Bitcoin history on that bar. So this is really just a point in time where it's undecided. We're in the middle of a range here and we don't know what's going to happen next. But in terms of how I'm lining up for this is I'm prepared for a break of the tops. And if the break was to happen, then we could definitely see altcoins bleed against Bitcoin. So it's all of the altcoins which have been pushing up these last couple of weeks as Bitcoin has been range trading between 28 and 42K. These altcoins will possibly more than likely, which we've seen in the past, begin to bleed their Bitcoin value. And they might 
and normally will maintain their US dollar value. They probably will drop a little bit, but in terms of their Bitcoin value, they're probably gonna bleed. So the way that I'm playing it is looking at my altcoins, seeing which ones have risen a hell of a lot and taking a little bit of profits from those in case we do get the breakdown. Now they're in profits, so it's not gonna affect me either way. We can't go broke making profits, but should it move up, should Bitcoin move up, then I don't wanna lose all of my Bitcoin gains that I've just made in the last couple of weeks on the altcoins. So turning our attention back to the double top, I don't think this will play out to the 200%. That's crazy, 14 and a half thousand. If we got a little move down from this point, then I could probably see it just heading to that 50% or that 61% mark, which lines up with our 32s. As we can see, there are a couple of closes here, so that's a support and resistance area. And our $36,000 level, again, some more closes. So it's quite a good little range to test before we push on any further north bound on, uh, on Bitcoin. The reason why I'd love to see this low taken out is because we haven't seen a high volume low on Bitcoin yet. And I would love to see a high volume low just shake out the weak hands, all these people that are waiting uh, to see if Bitcoin goes higher and they just got their stops under these levels. They get shaken out, weak hands, and then we start our move up. Looking at history, I'm taking this back to 2017 because it is a similar sort of pattern then. We saw a sideways movement for several weeks. I'm gonna throw this back onto a weekly chart. So this is the area just here. There was several weeks that we were going sideways. One, two, three, four. And on the fifth week, we got the shakeout, the shakeout that we've been waiting for. You can see the market just trending up, kind of in a similar position to what we are now. Then we got that big bar down, nice heavy volume, shook out these areas next week straight up again on even heavier volume taking out all of these highs and closing higher as well so if that wasn't enough signal then we had the following week to tell us it's starting to happen again we're starting to go up then if that wasn't enough we head up again broke the highs trend is back on a hundred percent confirmed we are going again so this would be the ultimate setup I'm not sure whether it's gonna happen, but I've definitely got my eye out in case something similar to this pattern happens. That again, sideways, clear out of the weak hands, all those guys that have got their stops under here, or even mentally, they're just not prepared for a shakeout like this. The following week, it turns around high volume, and we go again. What does that look like on a daily chart so we can see it come in sooner? So we're still in 2017, and on a daily chart, you can definitely see that triangle taking place, lowering volume. It is increasing. We've got lowering volume here. It was increasing and it started to shake out every time. Then finally on that massive volume, got the last breakout of these lows before it took off again and we had a nice swing to the upside. Ultimately, like I said many times, that is what I'm hoping for, but we all know that the market has its way of tricking us and we gotta figure out what's happening on the fly. So coming back to the present day, look at that. This could go on a little bit longer than we're expecting. That's why I've got my plan. Could it be something like that? Could we have a pennant flag up here? Could we have a ascending triangle with the tops coming up to a double top? So many of these different patterns, so we've got to be prepared. Volume is definitely coming down as we're starting to rise. So even if we get a little push up, coming back into this pattern, it's going to be good for the alt season because Bitcoin is still within its trading range. So that's a nice sign. We hold our Bitcoin value and the alts continue to increase against Bitcoin value, which leads me to the last chart I wanna have a look at in this video is Bitcoin dominance. With Bitcoin dominance, we've been following it for several months and we can see the double top coming in. So that was from September, 2019 through to December or January, 2021. So it's quite a large double top. And that's what we look for when we're looking for double tops is macro patterns. And this is a weekly chart, which looks pretty good. Now, what could stop this? It doesn't have to go straight down. This thing doesn't have to go all the way to our target of 50, which is on the Bitcoin dominance here. I've got an alert set just underneath these lows. This is gonna be the key here. It could come down or stay where it is and bounce up before making its next move down, which would show Bitcoin itself if the Bitcoin dominance increases, then Bitcoin itself could increase 
its own dollar value. It doesn't just have to be the altcoins bleeding, which would increase the Bitcoin dominance. That could be one scenario before we get the final shakeout. Now, of course, this is not to scale, so let's delete those. Back to the Bitcoin dominance. That's what I'm looking for here, that 54 to 50 level, hopefully somewhere around that 48, and we get a really big final push into the altcoins to give us that extra massive boost on our Bitcoin values before we sell out, put it back into Bitcoin before we get that rise again. So in terms of the pattern on the Bitcoin dominance chart, this is possible what would happen, that's what I'm looking for. We don't usually get a straight down line. You can see here, down, up, down, up. We get just nice swings on the way up and down. And so far we have not had a swing back up on the Bitcoin dominance. So if that happens, start to head down again, probably some area here that we would have to wait to see what happens because it could just hold out. That's a, a support level already. So maybe we get a little bit of a move there until we break through, who knows, but we have to continue to follow this to see what happens on altcoins and on the Bitcoin price. So these are all gonna give us clues as to what's happening next. I definitely, well, I have a higher expectation of the double top playing out on the Bitcoin dominance because of this increased volume here. Now, whether this volume is really related to Bitcoin dominance and people trading it is another question. But if we're looking at here, then obviously high volume, high volume on the move down, probably a little push up. And what I wanna see here is lowering volume on the move up until we begin to head back down. So if that was all jargon to you, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions about that. Essentially, if, the, if you were going through the too long didn't read section of the video, I'm looking for a signal on Bitcoin dominance chart and also what happens next on the Bitcoin USD chart because of the lowering volume and continued up move. Now, if this happens to break out, then I would say all bets are off. If it breaks out uh, convincingly, that is, all bets are off on alt season and we're back into Bitcoin. However, if we start to get a move down, we get a retest of that 32 to 36,000 level and it fails, then probably we're alt seasons off as well because we're probably gonna get a little bleed out on Bitcoin and the altcoins. So we definitely want to see Bitcoin staying in its range, whether it's its double top, whether it's its triangle, whatever the hell pattern it is, we wanna see Bitcoin remain in this range and it has the potential to do that because it's happened in the past. We've seen five weeks straight. So far, we are coming up to our fifth week here on Bitcoin and we could see a little longer as the trend continues. I'm hoping for a good two months, which we've been talking about since January. Now, the common question that comes up is, what should I do with my money now? Should I be buying now? Should I wait? Should I wait for a breakout? Should I wait for a pullback? What is going on? If you haven't bought anything yet, I, I don't know what to say. I can't help you in that regard. There must be some reason psychologically that you're not pulling the trigger. All you're essentially waiting for here is, could we get a breakdown to these levels? 36%. I'm not sure whether we're gonna see that this time around. What are you waiting for is really the question here, which would make you trigger buying some Bitcoin. Are you waiting for a 30% drop, a 40% drop? What is it that you're waiting for? Personally, if we get a shake out of these levels, it's gonna be very quick. So if you're not in it, it's probably gonna be very hard to get in. And I can't see many people who are still waiting from this point actually buying it if it came off 30%. Because first of how quick it is, second, how emotionally tough it is to buy at that time, especially if this is gonna be your first purchase, you're having to buy as the market is dumping. That's a very emotionally hard thing to do. So it's probably better off, not that it's financial advice, mentally speaking from experience, I would be buying somewhere in this level here just to test myself out. And if we happen to get that fall back to 32 through to 36, then sure, I save 16, 17% on my Bitcoin, which at the end of the day, this is crypto, 17% moves when Elon Musk pumps a tweet out. So it's not really that much to save on, considering how far we have to move in this market. We might have hundreds of percent to go. So saving 15%, probably not my thing definitely not my thing is the point i'm trying to make here so get yourself ready get yourself a plan if you want to learn more about that head over to the link in the description only there are too many scammers in the comments 
be careful down there. I only have one pinned comment, which is my own there, plus in the description if you wanna join the course. So I've got the crypto trading course there and we also talk about long-term investing. So check it out down below, 40% off for a limited time. Be sure to get on it. If you found some value from the video, let us know. Hit the like button down below here. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification icon. YouTube makes us do a whole lot of work to play in this space. And until the next video, I'll wrap it up there. Have more fun to get more done. Peace out.